First and ten. Another carry here. Spinning out of trouble. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. First and ten. Quarterback drops back. Play action. And they sack the quarterback. Quarterback made a big mistake that time. Don't carry out the play action fake when you know you're under pressure. He tries to do it. It results in the sack. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Offense lines up here. Third and a long way to go. The throw to the left makes the reception. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I don't even want to speculate what the entry is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. First down and 10. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. you got to keep your offensive line aggressive, so you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it's still certain. Second down and eight. Gets it again here. Not giving up another inch. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Play number six coming up on this drive. Staying on the ground. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, this game is close. This offense has got a lead. They're down in the red zone. Got to be very careful in situations like this. Play fake here, running for his life. Wide open for the catch. Touchdown, touchdown Jacksonville. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the life, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. It was a one-sided matchup early, and this game is finally over. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade, G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles.
Only one team can move on from this divisional round matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars here at Everbank Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, and we're here for a divisional round matchup. One team came through the wild card weekend. The other one's been sitting back on a bye waiting for this matchup. So the playoffs continue, and everything is at stake here, partner. Well, it is, Jim. Everything is at stake, of course. Playoffs mean win and go on, lose. It's over. The big debate always, do you want a team to be the team that played last week in the wild court or the bye team? To me, I would always prefer to be the bye team. You're rested, you had a chance to correct your mistakes, and you had two weeks to prepare for the team you're playing today. I think those are big advantages. We've seen this scenario a number of times through the years, Phil. Two divisional foes now meeting for the third time, but we've got one team coming off a regular season sweep. How big of an advantage is that? Well, it is a big advantage. At least you have the confidence to know that you can beat your opponent. But, Jim, three times when you play a team for the third time in the regulars or during one season, it is hard to fool them, to show them anything new. So this is going to be tough and low scoring. First and ten, Maurice Jones Drew. They tackle him at the 26 yard line. Nice job by the offense picking up that first down here to start the game, and that is important to give you a little confidence, to give you some rhythm, and most of all, just release some of that pressure you feel. Games five. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down and five. They'll run it with him again. And he is tackled at the 44. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, that's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job of the offensive line that time. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Airing it out. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job on the defensive back. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Play number six coming up on this drive. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. They've got him down there. Number 32 on the run. No gain on the play. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Jacksonville is in for the score. Touchdown. When you're in a divisional round of the playoffs, the pressure builds, the teams get tight. First and ten. Maurice Jones Drew gets it here. A tackle behind the line. Number 32 with the carry on the play. Flex Rail! Loss Flex of two. Rail. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Second down now from the gun. 
getting away from the pressure. Looks to his left. He brings it in. Breaks another. And he's brought to the ground. There's just so few quarterbacks who know how to throw it high and far anymore. Nice job that time by the quarterback. That throw was right on the money. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew after a five-yard game. Quick drop back. Trying to work that left side. And he's brought down by Antoine Bethay. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake. And he's in for the touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. First down and 10. They'll run it off the toss. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Ohio! Ohio! They've come out in the dime package. Second and 11. He's got a little bit of daylight here. In on the stop. The great thing Number about the draw play, the just for a split second, the defense thinks it's pass. Now they're reacting instead of attacking and allows you to get a few extra yards. Third and short. He gets it again on this drive. Spins away from contact. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. From the red zone. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. This is a five-step drop back. Muscles through the defender. That pass was hurried. It's not all about speed at the quarterback position, running away from trouble. You're able to take a couple steps up, a couple steps sideways, get that extra time, avoid the sack, and still throw the football. And he wants to throw it across the middle. The Jaguars get a first down. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Here, a split backfield. The quarterback throws to the right. Touchdown! Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. Offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. They bring him to the turf. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Now, first and ten. Play action. Going for the home run. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. Good try. Throw it deep down the field. It's a beautiful throw, but he just goes incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Running to the left side, the tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. Muscles through the defender. Touchdown, Jacksonville Jags. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look? <laughs> Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. He'll fire it out to the left. Incompletion on that hurry throw. We see it so often nowadays, all quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket, but as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it, nobody open. It's another incomplete pass. Good piece of tackling. Number 32 gets the ball in the way. Gain of 10 on the play. Offense lines up here. Staying on the ground. Makes a move and he's free. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, that's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Second and ten. Looking to scramble. Brings it in. Breaks free. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on the run for the completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. It's handed to the running back. Another touchdown to increase the lead. Well, you got a lead, you drive down the field, you score a touchdown. Now we're going to find... First and ten, back to the ground, looking for some daylight up the middle. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. Ohio, Ohio. First down here. Quarterback drops back. He'll fire it out to the left. No one in sight has the grab. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Trying to find an open man. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Good job by the running back that time. Breaking tackles, finding the open hole, and picking up those extra yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. Trying to make something happen. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. Running away from the sack. Has some space to work with. That'll stop the play right there. Once again, this offense in the red zone. This defense has been awful all day long. Can they, can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness and maybe stop them this time? First down and 10. Handoff. 
and pick up about four. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. About to snap it for the ninth. The margin is increased with another touchdown. First and 10. They hand it off to him again. Gains 11. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second and six. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. And this will probably wrap things up here. He's scrambling now, throwing now to his left. The defense had that one covered. One team's hopes have